So now that we've sort of seen how this isometric paper worked, let's go ahead and try to draw our first shape here that we were given. And so what I want to challenge you to do is only sketch the edges. So you see these little lines in between? Those little lines are also going to be shown here. We're only going to sketch the edges of our shape. And so follow along with me and maybe watch it once first before you do it um, to get the idea. But Let's go ahead and move down the paper and let's start by drawing. I'm going to start with the top corner. So this corner right here, I'm going to start that down here. I want to make sure I have plenty of room. So I don't want to start that I don't know, right here, for example, because I'm clearly going to go down into the left three and I'm going to run off the page. And so I'm going to make sure I pick the top corner below everything else so it doesn't run into I obviously don't want to draw it right here. Um, so hopefully you get the idea. If not, you know, you'll erase and have to redo it. And I don't want to use pen. I want to use pencil. It's very important that you use pencil when you're sketching isometric sketches. But if you look, you can see it's going down and to the left or forward three. So one, two, three. And then from there, you can see it goes two directions. It's going to the right or down and to the right, which is our X direction, which is to the right. It's going to the right three. It's also going down three. And so I need to go both directions from that corner. So I'm going to go down three from that corner. But I'm also going to go to the right three from that corner. So one, two, three. Okay. And from here at this edge right here, we can see it goes down two. So it's going to go down, but it's also going to go up and to the right, which is, as we said earlier, that's our depth. So this is the front. This would be the back. So it goes to the back three. And then, of course, from there, it connects at the end. But at that edge, it also, as you can see, it drops down just a little bit. And so we'll add that in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go back down to this edge that we never did finish. It goes forward one, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, that's not forward. It goes to the right five. So that's down to the right on isometric paper. But in reality, this is actually the right direction. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, five and five and then from there it goes two directions it goes back which is up and to the right for us but it also goes up and it goes up one and then it's going to go backwards two or up and to the right two so one two and then from here at this corner after it went up one it goes to the left two so one two and then it go connects upward to this line, this two. And if you did it right, these should have connected. These two corners here should have connected two apart from each other. And it, you know, because math, it will. Okay, and then from this edge right here, it also goes back to, so one, two, and make sure you're going up and to the right. And then it goes down one, that finished off that face. Okay, and then we can finish off this top face right here, this lowest top face. By going from this corner, we're going to go to the left, two, one, two. And if you haven't figured out the direction yet, that's okay. You'll pick it up as you go. But again, I'm referencing this. So anytime I'm going this way or this way, I'm either going forward or back. This way is forward. Or this way is back. So for example, this line is running parallel to my depth. So if I'm going this way, I'm going forward or going to the front, two. And if I start from this corner, I'm going back, two. And that finishes off this top face. Okay, then there's another edge that goes up one from this corner. So we go up one, and then it connects back there. This goes down one, and these should connect by one. If you did it right, math should say those two connect. And the same way that this did, if you are missing it, if you're missing the lines, you miscounted somewhere, clearly. But then, okay, let's move this a little bit so we can see the shape. From this edge, it goes to the right three. And again, how am I getting that? Well, I look at my X direction. That's width. That's left to right. So any line going parallel to this line is either right or left. And of course, we know this way, hopefully, this direction is the right. So one, let's see here, make sure we're counting right. One, two, three. I broke my lead there. And then from there, what happens next? Okay, it goes down two, so one, two, but it also goes forward one. Okay, so it goes there. And then we can go ahead and finish off this face by just connecting it three more times to that corner that we drew earlier. And, of course, we can finish off this face from this corner going down two and then connect those and connect these. And it's very important that you finish off all your faces. But if you did it right, you should have the exact same shape with only the edges darkened, not the individual lines.